Well, let's take a look at a really neat electronic game from the early 80s. I didn't have one of these back then, but I do remember seeing these on the shelf. Flash Wits by Milton Bradley. Basically what this is, it's a sliding puzzle game. If you're familiar back in the early 80s, a lot of different companies put these little toys, little squares. They had like sliding tiles on them. We had to build a picture out of the sliding tiles. I had, I had quite a few of those growing up. I really liked those. This is the electronic version of that. And the idea of this game is to get all these tiles moved around to where they're all lit up with LEDs inside. Now this came from a really awesome toy store in Columbus, Ohio called Big Fun. So if you're ever in the area in Columbus, Ohio, be sure to head, head down to the area called the Short North and check out Big Fun. They got a lot of cool stuff in there. And they got a lot of these vintage uh, electronic games as well. So very straightforward. We got the sliding tiles on the play field, our on off switch. It does run on two AA batteries, which go in the door back here. So we turn the unit on, you can see right now we got some of the LEDs already lit. So those sliding tiles are in the correct position. So if I start moving the tiles around, whoop, so that one's in the right position. That one's in the right position. So this is what the game looks like when you win. It's actually a, a really fun game. It, it makes you think. Uh, there is a, a strategy to getting all the lights to be lit. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, just like an 80 sliding puzzle game. But you move the tiles around. You can see they don't light up when they're not in the right position. you got to be in their correct positions in order to illuminate. Pretty cool game. I really like this thing. Uh, if you like collecting these old LED tabletop games and stuff like that, this is a cool one to get for your collection. Uh, they don't go for very much unless you find one that's in the box. I would love to have the box of this because it looks really awesome. You can go over to handheldmuseum.com and look this up to see the box that it came in. Plus, they have some other variations of this game. Uh, it was called Little Genius in uh, one part of the world. It was called uh, Matrix in another. It's kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Remember, you can tell it's Mattel. It's well. Okay, let him go. Some of the great SSP racers for 72. M A R X spelled Mark, world's largest toy maker. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. And remember, if it isn't Duncan, it isn't Yo-Yo.